what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so let me talk about scream 6 in this video here again today i haven't done a solo video on scream 6 in quite a while but uh we're gonna be talking about the character of gail Wells a little bit further and talking about this new tweet that came out recently over on twitter from clips comprehend because now we have an idea i guess of who dermont moroni will be playing in scream 6 and who his daughter will be based off of this alleged name now dermont moroni now, if you don't want to know about this, you probably shouldn't be watching or I guess if you don't care, because I don't consider this a spoiler at all. But Jamar Moroni, he's playing a character apparently named Detective Walters. This is a detective who in his Burroughs homicide unit, he's in a, he's in the Burroughs homicide unit. He's a recovering alcoholic who's been sober for for years, doesn't enjoy the media response to the death or bringing up his daughter nice guy but is lonely and has at times a chip on his shoulder him and gail will clash now notice his last name detective walters if you go back through screen four or if you already caught on by hearing the name walters this is yes rebecca's father rebecca walters from screen four now rebecca if you don't remember is the is sydney's publicist who was helping her with her book we met her very early on within the first 10 minutes i would say of screen four she was right there with sydney during the open after the opening sequence title credits and she was talking about her book she had a sequence with gail weathers then she got thrown off and landed on top of gail's news van or some type of news van so when it comes to rebecca I know some people have already been like, you know, this is kind of random. I would say I think having him be the father of anyone that wasn't Jill Roberts or Kirby Reed might have been very random, considering that most of the people from Screen 4 are, are, are dead. <laughs> not most, if not all, outside of our trio and Kirby, they're, they're dead. So with Rebecca, uh, I think it's a nice touch, but I also know people are now like, oh, so he can't be the killer because if this is a part of his description and it's already blatantly out there that he's Rebecca's dad, they're telling us that's already enough to write him off of the list as potential suspect. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think seasoned screen fans will probably pick pick up on this. And I'm not saying that's what it is, but seasoned screen fans might pick up on this and go, hey, they're just trying to throw me off track because people are already convinced that Dermot was going to be the killer. Then when he mentioned his daughter in another interview in the past, that seemed to kind of convince people even further. Now with these allegations, if he is indeed Rebecca's father, for some people, that's going to be the final nail in the coffin as to say, yep, he's the killer. And some people will be like, oh, he's probably not the killer because that's they're kind of telling us a little too much about him up front. Here's the thing, though. What if it has nothing to do with Rebecca? If he ends up being the killer, what if it has nothing to do directly with Rebecca? Because Rebecca died, what, 11, 12 years ago? If he ends up being the killer, he could have been through a lot more since Rebecca's death. That finally caused him to snap. Because I don't think this would be something where it's just about Rebecca. Not at all. Uh, not in the same vein of Mrs. Loomis. Mrs. Loomis didn't didn't waste any time about her baby boy. <laughs> but doing this, doing this 11, 12 years later after your girl has died, there's got to be something else to him. If anything, this might be them wanting to throw you off track. If this, if this alleged description of who he is is true, if he's Rebecca Walter's father, again, don't write him off just yet. This might be a way to kind of just say, hey, you know, they're throwing this in there. They're giving him an emotional edge and kind of showing you why he can't be the killer because he has had his name in the media and his daughter has been brought up in the media. It has him as a recovering alcoholic. But again, that doesn't mean he can't be the killer. A lot of stuff could have been piling up, making him snap. So just keep that in mind. But when it relates to him clashing with Gail, that might be a very unique and interesting fun thing to say. I think those two work together on Friends, so they should have a nice little reunion in this franchise now with this movie. But uh, this, the clashing that he could have with Gail, I, I imagine that playing out in some fashion related to how Rebecca looked up to Gail and how maybe he resents Gail because again if that's her father he heard all of this stuff that Rebecca Rebecca told Gail about in screen four how Rebecca told told Gail that Gail was her 90s and she would always watch her in the morning so of course this detective Walters he grew up seeing his daughter love Gail Weathers and then 
maybe even after what happened with their little brief meeting in Scream 4, let's say she's been a daddy's girl. Let's say Rebecca was a daddy's girl. She called up her dad, told her, told him how how Gail was when she actually met her idol and how she did not she did not think she was who she thought she would be upon meeting her now and that was a little disappointing for her and then a couple seconds hours later your daughter's your daughter's dead and you just had a conversation with her learning that her idol wasn't who she thought she would be so she he could have sequences with gail or maybe he partially places some sort of blame on how rebecca ended up because like maybe hey if you would have been nicer to my daughter you could have shown her a few things and you know she wouldn't have ended up dead but I'm interested to see what this clashing will look like. Uh, I also saw that Clips chimed in and doubled down even further on some of the stuff related to Neth Campbell potentially being in Scream 6. I do want to say that I believe that what I was told from my source, yes, still is going to end up being true. I do believe that Neth Campbell will be back as Sydney Prescott. I've seen the narrative online about, oh, well, if she's back, why is she saying no? Again, the idea is that if she's under an NDA, this will be falling right in line with that. Of course, she might not be in the movie. There might not be an NDA, but to keep in line with the theory, that's why she's saying no. And also on top of that, if a deal was reached, you're saying, oh, why wouldn't Paramount announce her? Well, for one, Nev has already kind of made it clear she uses as negotiation tactic. And two, why would you as a billion billion dollar, overly billion dollar company come out of come out here and say, hey, yeah, you know, we caved to a negotiation tactic. You're going to show us that you caved by having her appear in secrecy in scream six if that's what's going on if she's not in the movie then she's just not in the movie it's really not that big of a deal i know some people live and die by sydney prescott being in this movie but it's not that big of a deal if she's not in scream six she can return for scream seven if they get their ish together it's just really that simple it's all a business it's really not that deep but let me know what you guys think about this new information from clips comprehend and what do you think about rebecca's dad appearing in scream six does this convince you that demart is going to be the killer or does this completely write him off your suspect list let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video